Hi, my name is Raja. Uh, we are uh, today we'll see how to install SharePoint 2013 in Windows Server 2012. Uh, I'm having a fresh copy of Windows Server 2012 in which I have installed only Google Chrome and then Cam Studio and Mutorant. Okay, so before installing that, we need to uh, we need to download SharePoint 2013. I had downloaded SharePoint 2000 2013 from uh, Microsoft site itself where uh, SharePoint 2013 download so from the TechNet you can download the SharePoint 2013 trial version I had I had downloaded this SharePoint 2013 from the TechNet Microsoft.com so on downloading that this file I got in which uh, I, I got an ISO w which I had extracted in that installation file you will find prerequisite installer in which on clicking on which it will show what are all the prerequisites that needs to be installed before installing SharePoint 2013 okay I had selected that one I clicked that one currently I had already installed the SharePoint 2013 prerequisites so I'm not uh, doing that one now on next I'm going to install SharePoint 2013 which is this on clicking double clicking on the setup file I will see the SharePoint 2013 setup okay uh, it is uh, it's getting loaded then it will ask for the product key which which is already present in the uh, same technet site itself this is the key that I got and then I'm giving that to this clicking on continue it will ask the license I'm giving the license it is showing where it will be install click on install now then it will install SharePoint 2013 so it will take some time yes uh, finally it was installed uh, to use SharePoint sir, uh, to use SharePoint 2013 in in our machines we need to run the configuration wizard means uh, we need to configure the SharePoint 2013 for which after installation it will directly show the uh, it, it will show the uh, SharePoint products configuration wizard and closing on that I'll get the SharePoint configuration wizard which I need to configure now so it has started this is the SharePoint configuration wizard you can open the SharePoint configuration wizard from the start menu also 
share point share point this is the share point 2013 products configuration wizard so this is already opened for me or i can close it from there and then i can open the configuration wizard see i'll close this one it will ask do you want to close it yes so I had closed that one then I'll run it from the configuration wizard SharePoint products configuration wizard then it will open me the same window clicking on next uh, the following services you want to start these services since uh, that install the IIS but it has not yet started these things so we need to click on S then it will start the those services see uh, here it will ask do you want to create an er new server form or you want to connect to the existing server form as I'm installing a new server so I'm going to the create a new server form so click on next here you need to give the uh, database server name see uh, if you if it is a new installation you need to install the SQL server see in my machine I am hanging SQL Express so I am giving the SQL Express name so that I am giving the dot slash SQL e e Express SQL Express and I am giving the name as see uh, here uh, you need to remember one more thing is like you need to configure active directory in this machine then only you will be able to give the domain username and password if you are giving administrator it won't allow you since it needs the domain it needs to have a active directory user so I had uh, previously I had configured active directory and I am having the mm, uh, users in the active directory so I am giving the active directory username my active directory is corp c o r p slash administrator I am giving the administrator and the pass password then clicking on next at the specified database server contain user defined data databases must be empty before they cannot be they can be used delete all the tables so I am giving the fresh installation so I don't want any data previous data in my SQL Express so I'm clicking OK okay so I have to okay so what I'll do is I'll go to SQL Express not this one want to have the Google not installation center ok I'll give config 1 then click on next so as uh, it is creating me a new server name since that database is not full I'm, I haven't cleared that one so I had given a new name to the SQL uh, SQL Express and then I need to give the pass frames so I'll give some pass phrase then click on next then if you want to specify a port number then you can uh, specify the port number custom port number which you want to specify I don't want to specify this port number so I left the default uh, port number and then you can choose the authentication provider whether it is a Kerberos or a NTLM I am going to the default NTLM itself so I'm clicking on next so it is uh, configuring the SharePoint
so finally it has installed the uh, SharePoint Server 2013 then on clicking on finish the installation will be completed this is the final SharePoint uh, 13 installation okay thank you thanks a lot thank you very much for uh, seeing the video thank you